pulling out of the uh, Frontier Motel here on the north end of Cuba. Got our owner up ahead of us. We're about 62.7 miles out of Bernalillo and uh, headed to the counselor turnoff. Here we are coming into Counselor. We're going to take a right-hand turn here off of 550. We are just under 32 miles from the Frontier Motel in Cuba. So, the fun begins. You can see we've got a little different road here. Now, it's important to... Uh, make a note, these roads, most of what we're going to be on are uh, maintained relatively well for backcountry roads because the uh, oil and gas guys are out here constantly all year round. Uh, it is a little spooky out here when it's wet. It can get pretty sloppy. Uh, during the winter when it's good and cold and frozen it's easily passable and most of the summer and fall it's good. You have to be real careful with thunderstorms, particularly in the arroyos. So, so far so good. We're at 8.4 miles in from the counselor turnoff and we're taking our first left here. The sign says PPP5. It's right at what appears to be a cell tower. We're now about 15 miles in from the counselor turnoff, and we keep dropping down this canyon. And as you can see here, the walls are getting higher. Beautiful rock formations. There's a big cave up there. I don't know if they're getting it or not. Looks like there could be a lot of wildlife here. And here's what you see everywhere up here. These are the gas company guys. Now at 20 miles, the canyon really opens up here. See the wash, some water down there, and we're coming to our first ranch. Another gas company truck. The Truby Ranch? Yes. Okay. We just, we can see the windmill over here. Yeah, windmill. And this is right at 20.2 miles. And we're going to take a right hand turn here to head towards the ranch. I want to give you a little guide to the. Uh, ranch via this aerial photograph. Um, you see down here in the lower left hand corner this is the uh, Largo Canyon Wash and you approach the ranch from the south it's 20.2 miles from the turnoff at Counselor on uh, State 550. Uh, the turnoff is right at a, a uh, local ranch, the Truby Ranch, and you take a right there, and then it's 4.9 miles down to the ranch itself. Now the ranch is outlined with blue on the south, north, and west boundaries, and in red over here on the Hickory Apache boundary. Um, to the north we have Ensenada Mesa and on the ranch the primary feature is Carter Mesa with two major canyons, Albert Canyon running northeast and Tapacito Canyon running south and east. The headquarters is down here at the lower end of the property about halfway up Tapacita Canyon. Uh, the principal 
routes to get to the Carter Mesa are either down through a gate at the Hickory Reservation, up through the reservation, and then onto the property, or back up Albert Canyon all the way to the top and to the upper end of the property. The top section of the property, as you'll see in a later map, is private down to this area. And then there's an L-shaped area in here that's private deeded property. The bulk of the rest of the property is BLM with a section down here in the southeast corner that's uh, state leased land. We'll have a couple other maps for you uh, coming up. Now we have a topo map um, where you can see the canyons and the mesas pretty clearly defined. Again we have the Hickory Apache over here to the east, Carter, Ma Carter Mesa right here in the center, Tapacito Canyon on the lower part of the mesa, Albert Canyon on the upper part of the mesa, Ensenada Mesa to the north, the headquarters down here, and the Truby Ranch where you make the turn off from the road coming from Counselor over here on the left hand side of the picture. So hopefully that gives you a little better idea of what the topography is. Elevation here, by the way, is from roughly 6,400 feet down here in the bottom of the canyon to uh, the top of this mesa up at the very north end of the property. If you get to the very top of it, it's about 7,000 feet. And here is the uh, breakdown of the private, the BLM, and the state property. Uh, as I noted before, the upper section of the property is private. Uh, there's a couple of sections up here. Then we have two areas in the center of the property that are private. These are surrounded by BLM. And then we have two areas of state lease this section down here in the southeast corner and where this canyon proceeds down into here. Now the reason for the uh, very rugged line around much of the property is that these lines follow the canyon walls and this forms a natural barrier for grazing this property. Uh, with uh, out having to do a lot of fencing. And of course this boundary here, roughly five miles long, is Hickory Apache country to the east and this boundary is completely fenced and gated. 